guys. Welcome back to another week of Mortgage Matters and Minutes. I'm your host and owner of mortgage specialist, Brent Rasmussen. Today, we're going to chat about secrets to speeding up your mortgage home loan closing. And there are a lot of little secrets that you can do that sometimes people do these out of order. And we recommend that they connect with us early if they want to get into a home a little bit quicker. So we can definitely speed up the process. Can we always control the seller? No, but there are many things that you can do along the way to get into that uh, home faster, but also be more attractive to an offer that you put in, letting the seller know that you can close much, much quicker. First, understanding the mortgage process is a massive legal process. There's lots of legalities that happen throughout the process and everybody needs to be protected to make sure that when the buyer moves in, they truly own the property and it's their, the, their home only and there's no other liens, encroachments, or uh, issues in the past that show up. So a normal loan closing depends on the time of the year, depends on the part of the country, but here in Omaha area, 30 to 45 days is very normal. During the slower months from say November 1st through March 1st, you can easily get loans done less than 30 days. As the market gets busier and there's more activity that continues, it takes closer to 30 to 45 days because it's not all up to the lender, it's up to appraisers, underwriters, title people, uh, inspections, all kinds of different things. And as more happens, the more people that are needed to make it work. So now that we know the challenges and the timeframes, let's talk about how we can speed that process up. And there are many things that we can do to speed, speed that up. Most people are aware of getting pre-approved, but that doesn't necessarily speed up, speed up the process. It really allows the seller to know that someone has engaged in your finances and your credit to make sure that you meet the minimum standards. Are all pre-approvals treated the same? No, we understand that. But getting that pre-approval process done is great, but you can take that uh, step one more level further and you can send your loan up as a TBD and get the loan completely underwritten, meaning the underwriters will review your credit, your assets, your income, your down payment. They'll take care of everything minus the property itself. And then generally speaking, when we have all that piece done, once you find the house, we just need the title work and the appraisal done. And many a times we can uh, speed that process up, pay for rush fees, and you can get into the home within a couple of weeks. That's the simplest and easy way to get your loan accomplished quicker. A lot of times we find our clients are very nervous about signing documentation, but the only thing that's binding is on the home loan is when you go to closing and sign all the document documents and that's called consummation. That's when everything is agreed upon. So up until that time frame, nothing is binding, nothing is legal, but you can continue to move forward as if you're gonna be closing as quick as possible. If you do have an opportunity to put 20% down on a conventional, you can always ask your lender if they can get an appraisal waiver, or if we don't need an appraisal, that speeds up seven days to 14 days right there of not waiting for that appraisal back. Not all properties, not all situations are going to be open to an appraisal waiver, but that does exasperate the time and waiting for other people to get that process accomplished. Many properties that are listed for sale, the seller has already moved out. And if we can get uh, and find those properties, and if you have all your ducks in a row with getting the loan pre-underwritten and maybe even not needing an appraisal, now we're waiting on the title companies all to do their job, which sometimes we can get uh, sped up very quickly within a day or two, uh, meaning everybody is happy at the end of the day. Most people aren't aware of this, but by federal law, you can never close a loan faster than seven business days. So even though you might have everything in a row, we can't get things done faster than seven business days. And I'll tell you, that's very, 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 very uncommon. But the last things that you can do as a home buyer wanting to purchase a home is stay vigilant with the lender that you're working with to turn in documentation as soon as they ask it. We can share that the faster that you respond to us, the faster we can turn everything over to underwriters and they can sign off on those needed contingencies and get your loan moved to closing much, much quicker. Where things possibly slow down is when we as lenders ask borrowers to provide us documentation and it might take them two, three, five, seven business days to get it back to us. Well, there's always that time clock going and every day that goes by where documentation isn't provided, 
then that's going to be one more day that you're closing a little bit later as well, too. So use communication and technology to your advantage. Text, email, uh, check your phone throughout the day and follow up with your loan officer to ask, is there anything else needed? The more you can check in to make sure that they have everything that they need, the more quickly the loan is going to go. I will tell you, uh, in lending for 25 years, the clients that follow up with us, we truly appreciate. We want to be way more proactive than they are, but if they're doing their job of checking in and sending in paperwork as quick as we ask it, we move that file as quick as we can to underwriters so that they can sign off on the clear to close and get you set for uh, finishing up the closing. Lastly, I can advise you is always work with someone local. Uh, work with a loan officer that cares about your time frame and cares about getting things done for you and, and answering your questions in a timely manner. Uh, if you're working with a lender that's not as responsive, I can share with you that they might be too busy or might not be as engaged in the uh, particular career to make sure that you are happy. Uh, great lenders want to make sure at the end of the day, when you show up for closing, everything's in order. There's no problems and you're going to sign, move in and be happy. Does that always happen? No. No matter how much work we put into a transaction and make sure everything is taken care of, there can be speed bumps in the road, but we're always here to help uh, iron out those speed bumps to make it a seamless process because that's why you're hiring a professional is to make sure that we can do all we can to make that process better. So again, there are steps that you can do. Send your loan to underwriting earlier than finding a property. Asking about an appraisal waiver if you put 20% down. Checking with the closing date on the seller to see if the house is vacant. Maybe they can move in earlier than possible. Stay vigilant with turning in paperwork. Using technology to follow up with the lender, processor, and or loan officer, and realtors, and title people involved. As you can see, there's lots of people. That's just a minimum. And lastly, use someone local that truly cares about your interests. I hope you learned a little bit here today on how to speed up and move your home loan quicker to closing. And if any of this makes great sense to you, please hit the subscribe button below. We have many more videos continually coming out each and every week so that we may be educating you on the home loan process and real estate needs. Whether you're a first time home buyer or you're an investor or you're a seasoned pro, we'd love to give you some basic tips and tricks to make the process a simple and stress-free one. I'm Brent Rasmussen, owner of Mortgage Specialists, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great rest of your day. Mortgage Specialists, driven, trusted, reliable.